Hey everyone, it's Sam here and I have just got the biggest smile on my face because I adore this new collection. It's called Changing Faces and they are just simply adorable, in my opinion anyway. Let me know in the comments what you think. These are my super cute little faces. I'm going to show you some more samples in a moment. You can personalise them. Maybe you're looking at this one now thinking it reminds you of someone that you know. There's some really fun sentiments, embossing folders, addition dies, a paper pad. And also, if you've got my cheeky sentiments that I released last month, they're going to work brilliantly with this collection. So like I said, there are new faces, the icons additions, there's new sentiments, embossing folders and paper. So I'm going to quickly show you through all this. I'm going to be live today over on Craft Stash at 12.30 and I'll be doing a couple of demos. And I've also got tutorials ready that I've filmed of all the samples that I've made and they'll be going up on my Mater Surprise channel as well. Now, you can find all that information below. So you've got your two new faces here. So you've got Because I Care and Feeling Happy. Now the great thing about these is they all mix and match. If you do get both sets, the hair here is going to work on this face here and vice versa. There are two shaped faces in each set. So you've got a slightly chiselled face and then you've got more of a rounded face. All of these pieces here, each face has its own plate. So you won't, if you just want to create this face, you've got the one plate to pass it through. There's not lots of tiny little dies in there. They will cut small pieces, but the actual dies themselves are all, you're not going to lose them basically. You can cut them out all in white card and then colour them in if you want, or you can cut them out in different colours and kind of paper piece it back together. Just follow the image on the packaging. They're very, very easy. So you really can't go wrong with these. So you've got a nice mix. You've got three males, three females in each set. And uh, yeah, I think they are brilliant. They're going to work with lots and lots of my past mechanisms and die sets, and they will work with things that you already have in your stash. They look nice just on the front of the card with a nice kind of cluster built up around their neck. So can't wait to see what you make with these. The icons here, so this is the Changing Faces icon set. These are nice big dies, like the pillow, you'll see it on the sample in the moment. You know, it's about this big. So don't be deceived by them, you know, the size of them on the packaging. These are nice big sizes. All the top portion are your dies. The bottom portion here are stamps and dies. So the little bear here, that's a stamp and the books and the tree, etc. The hats look really good. That's what you saw on that sample that I shared at the start. The glasses, earrings, bows for the hair, little hat there and balloons. It's a really lovely set. And then two new sentiment sets. You've got the Because I Care and the Feeling Happy. So again, if you just wanted to, you know, treat yourself to this set, then that's going to be your sentiment set that will work perfectly with it. You've got just wanted to pop by and say hi. Did I hear it's your birthday? I only have eyes for you. Hey, I love you. Welcome to the neighbourhood. Happy birthday. Hey, neighbour and happy new home. I hope the neighbours are nice. And then this one here is your Because I Care. Heard you're feeling unwell, so here's a little kiss from me. I'm so sorry I forgot. You know I'm always here for you. Hey, you. Rest up and get well soon. I've been told I'm a good listener. See, I told you you could do it. And then I just wanted to check that you're okay. So these are very different to what I've already got within my sentiment range. I try to make sure that each kind of sentiment set that I bring out has got something a little bit different or is phrased slightly different. Um, the feeling happy one is is all, you know, brand new. So I'm really pleased with that one. And this one as well, they're both nice. My favourite embossing folders. So we've got the 8x8 just because these, when I've had different sizes over the years, it's the 8x8 that always do the best because I think you then, these are going to work on any size card that you make. And if you're into mixed media and doing like altered canvases and bigger backgrounds, then these are going to, you know, be great for that. And the way that I've kind of had these ones made is that if you are making a six by six, you can cut this portion so it still looks like a fence. If you're doing a slim line, you can cut it right down through the middle and you get both parts. Five by seven, you can snip like here and you still see that it's a fence. And the same with the brick here. So no matter where you cut, what size, it's all going to be in proportion. So it's going to work really well. Beautiful, really nice backgrounds. And again, you'll see them on lots of the samples. And then the paper pad is something a little bit different. I wouldn't say it's necessarily to go with this collection. I just wanted another nice background paper. And this is mosaic tiles. And it's something that I've not done before. Don't really see this style around in a paper pad. And it will work with so many occasions. Um, I think I said in the craft stash video, this one here I think is great for kind of like bathroom backgrounds. If you wanted, I've got my um, stand and display card or die set with the bubbles and the rubber duck and stuff. You could have that as the background. 
things like the red and the greens are going to look lovely as Christmas backgrounds. You've got your spring kind of colours here, yellows. You've got the nice purple there, just build up a nice floral arrangement on the front. And again, you'll see those in some of the samples. So moving on to the samples, you've just seen this one here. So this is using the pop-up bouquet 5 by 7 set. You can see the lovely flowers. You can see the fence there. I've got the bench. Just wanted to pop by and say hi, and that's on a side fold card. So this one and this one, these are my favourites of the samples that I've made. Mind you, there's another one. In fact, the ones that are my favourite are the ones with the guys. So this one here is on the 6 by 6 wiper card. Hey you, and he's reading his book, Garden Bugs, <laughs> and the nosy neighbour from next door helps over the brick wall. <laughs> his face, it's like, I just wanted to read my book. Loved putting this one together. And I think it's a great example of adding the icons, the extras. So the glasses are extra. They, they totally changed his kind of expression when I added the glasses. The little bow in her hair, the earring. I've added glaze on the nails there and on her tongue. It's just brilliant. And then the book I've used. These are just uh, sentiments I've already had in my collection. That I've just cut down just to create that little book title there and I think it's come together really well but again you can see how big that book die is these are nice sizes and all the heads as well you know they're a, they're a good size this is another wipers this is a five by seven happy new home I hope your neighbors are nice hey <laughs> I must admit I have got a little bit of inspiration from moving into my new home my neighbors are really nice on both sides of me um but we do kind of you know on one side I've got the fence and on the other side I've got the brick wall and I do kind of poke my head over to say hello when I see them so yeah this one here is very very cute rest up and get well soon it's got the little girl there you can see the bear the paper there that I've used as like a duvet pattern and the books and then her cute little rosy cheeks there the bows in her hair and just a couple of the hearts there and then I've got this sample here. Actually, the tutorial for this is on the Craft Sash channel. All of the tutorials for these ones are coming. And I've got uh, two demos as well, like I said, that I'll be doing for Craft Sash, which are completely, you know, new again. So lots of inspiration. So this one's brilliant. Hey, neighbour, did I hear it's your birthday? Or she could be shouting, keep the noise down. Again, once I added the glasses to her, she became more of like a, a nosy neighbour. I just think it's so much fun. But you can see the little birthday hat there and you can see those balloons as well. And that's the little planter, and the, you know, the embossing folder there, the brick one. You can see that really well. So like I said at the start, I will be live over on the Craft Stash Facebook page today at 12.30 BST got to remember that because the clocks have just changed and I will be going through all this in more detail I'll show you all of the dies I'm going to be putting some of the faces together and I'm going to be making two cards there as well and it's a really nice friendly chat so if you want to join in ask any questions you can do and yeah I hope you enjoy this collection I hope it's put a smile on your face let me know if you purchased this and again if you're on Facebook head over to my wonderful Facebook group Mixed Up Crafters and you can share anything you make there following my tutorials and it's a really really lovely community Thanks again for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.